Okay, I'm at um, Dawn's Market here in Santa Isabel. I just left my family's house. I've got the new setup on the Forerunner. We are back in Southern California, but I'm heading to the desert, but I need to grab a few things to eat. So we are gonna grab a few grocery items. All right, I feel good. I got a few things that I needed, including I restocked my wine supply. You guys, there's a little bit of snow or ice or something going on on Cuyamaca Peak. Yeah, baby, it's winter time. Woohoo! I think this is gonna this is gonna do it's a really pretty area I just need to find my level spot which I think I'm pretty level I might put my leveling blocks I have two leveling blocks I might put them there find a rock but look at this backdrop I think I want to come back just a hair and maybe find a rock or something to level because I look like I'm a little bit leaning to the front driver so yeah, let's find a rock or I'll pull out my leveling blocks. I'm using my leveling blocks to keep my fridge level in the front seat, so I don't really want to use those if I don't have to. But I'm not really finding any rocks other than those big boulders back there. <laughs> so that'll that'll get me really off off level. So I'm just gonna let the dogs go potty for a minute and kind of walk around and see what we're working with here. I decided to move the car a little bit. Come on, Agron. I feel pretty level, so I think we're gonna set up camp here. My rug is a little wet, so I'm going to let it sit in the sun for a minute and dry. And this is a little wet because it rained the other day. So I'm just going to set this in the sun to get some, it won't take long to dry. It's so, so um, dry here. So, and the sun is nice and warm. Tara reached out and asked if I'd be interested in doing a review on their bully bite dog treats. I'm always apprehensive to give my dogs new things to try. I'm very routine with what I feed them and I don't like to venture too far off the spectrum. But when I did some research on this company, I liked that they were a single ingredient dog treat that was made in the United States. Grubterra Bully Bite Dog Treats are created with a high quality ingredient from high protein beef muscle that promotes healthy, strong teeth and gums with low fat for small, medium and large dogs. Grubterra sent me these little Bully Bites um, for my dogs to test out this product. And one thing that I really like about what they advertise is how they're like one ingredient made in the US. So I'm really excited to give this a try for some dog treats. Cause like, I'm not really a big fan of giving my dogs milk bones and things like that that's heavily processed. So I was really excited when they sent me this product to try. So I just gave them one their first bite and Agron devoured it in seconds and Pike doesn't have hardly any teeth. So it's taking him a little bit longer to, <laughs> uh, you know, chew through, but I think that he's just savoring the flavor. I think so far it's uh, it's really good. It kept them distracted. Well, it's kept Pike distracted. It hasn't really kept Agron distracted because I don't even think he like, it phased him because he's like, <laughs> but it's really nice to have something healthy for the dogs to like chew on while I'm getting camp set up because Agron has a separation anxiety from me and he likes to be right next to me. So like when I like have to go up top and get things out of the cargo boxes, he whines. If I have to go set up the solar panel and he's not with me, he whines. So having a healthy treat for them when we get to camp really helps my whole setup process. So, so far I'm enjoying this product, but we'll see how it goes. I am almost set up for camp. So I think all I have left is to set up my bed, which my bed's really made. I just have to put the sleeping bag out and get my pillow and get situated. I'm really just hanging out at this point, <laughs> drying out my my things. The other night it rained, so everything's still a little bit wet, but it feels good to be back and I'm excited to test out my new 
old new setup because I'm back in the platform. It's definitely going to be an adjustment because I'm used to having the space in the tent and so forth. So I'm really excited to see how tonight goes and I'm looking forward to what this winter brings with the platform setup and then talking through what kind of changes I want to make with the platform as we start living in it again and readjusting because I have a suspicion that the first couple of nights are going to be a readjustment. I already know that this platform that I built a few years ago with my dad has some challenges. It sits 10 inches up which gives me very little headroom inside and I purchased a four inch memory foam mattress to sleep on now because I was just so uncomfortable so I'm hoping that this guy will do a lot better but that means my head is a lot closer to the roof and with the space and stuff so I'm sure there's going to be an adjustment period and then I'm sure there's going to be a time where I want to make some adjustments to the platform and then retry everything out but the tent is retired as of right now I may end up putting it back on in the future but for right now that tent is off the forerunner and we are back to the platform so cheers to a new chapter in the forerunner y'all so the sun is beating on my fridge causing it to work in overdrive so i'm going to put something over this window to kind of keep the sun from beating on it because i don't want it to absorb my power all that fast. Now I am pulling in about 50 watts of solar and it's taking about 50 watts right now. So it's kind of plateauing itself, but I think um, the goal is to get that thing more on an eco mode and with the sun beating on it, it's just not an eco mode. So we're gonna put up a blanket. We have officially entered into the winter season. Winter is a challenging season for us in the Forerunner, but I'm going into my third winter on the road, and at this time, I've started to fine tune my winter setup. I prefer to be inside the Forerunner during the winter season because the hard walls protect from the wind, but that means less room. While having the rooftop tent was nice, the wear and tear on the Forerunner was just no longer worth it. Both sides of the Prince roof rack are completely cracked in half, so I've had to create reinforcements to protect the integrity. As such, the tent will be retired for a while until I can afford to replace the roof rack system. In the future, I will put together a video on the rebuild and how I reinforced the Prince roof rack. But for now, we will fine tune this platform system and make the best of our circumstances. What are you doing? <laughs> they are calling for some heavy winds in this area, but so far it's uh, calm. It's really, really nice, like a slight breeze, almost 60 degrees. It's perfect, but yeah, it's supposed to get pretty windy later. So I'm hoping my awning doesn't have any issues. But he wants me to play fetch. And Pike is just being lazy up there. Aren't you, buddy? <laughs> I just got finished doing my daily devotional, like 30 minutes a day. And I always feel so much better after I get done because it's like I just got my daily bread. I just got my Jesus time and I'm just so thankful and I'm just so humbled. <laughs> it doesn't take long to get out of that mindset, does it? But uh, no, I'm feeling really good. And, and now I'm just enjoying this beautiful day. It's so quiet and the dogs are just so happy. The temperature is literally perfect. The dogs aren't panting in the sun. They're enjoying getting their sun bath. And it's just, it's just a great day and I'm just so thankful. But I have received a few emails from companies that want to send me some products to test and, and review for my channel. I'm trying to just take deep breaths and just be in the moment and be present with God and it's a good day because you know it's five o'clock somewhere yay my friend Jeremy gave me this the last time I saw him because <laughs> I never had one 
handy. So thank you, Jeremy. I'm going to put it to good use right now. I'm getting a little hungry for lunch. So to go with my wine, I think I'm gonna have a quesadilla. Well, I guess the wind's gonna pick up. Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it because I don't know where this wind came from. I don't even know how to get this undone. Like, it, <laughs> I don't even know. How to fix this? Oh boy. It's never a dull moment for me on the road. It's the challenges, like the wind launching my awning into the sky, that create resilience in me. While it did put a dent in my hood, I'm still thankful for the trials because without them, the good times wouldn't be as meaningful. I put the awning away because the wind was so bad. I didn't want it to like fly away, so I packed up everything outside. So it's about to, the sun's about to set. We're about to go to bed, and I will see you guys in the morning. I've spent a lot of time in the desert, and I have to say, some of the most incredible sunrises and sunsets take place in this vast terrain. nearly three years on the road full-time I finally purchased one of these <laughs> so this is gonna this is gonna help keep things nice and secure You can come out. Hold up, Pike. You guys made a mess in here. He had to pee. This is a nice spot. This is a cool spot. A little fire pit. Might find some some wood. I don't know how much wood I'm gonna find out here. I mean, it's all kind of. Hey, Agron, come. I've been giving my dogs these bully bites from Grub Terra for a couple of weeks now and they are just absolutely loving them. So if you're interested in getting yourself some bully bites or looking into Grub Terra and seeing what they offer, I recommend going to the description of this video where I've left a link for you to go check out and you can go explore all the variety of treats that this company has to offer.
now that my dogs have had their bully bite treats from Grub Terra, it's time for me to have my own little snack. Well, while my snack might not be high protein beef muscle, it is a well balance of fruit and vegetables with a little unhealthy twist with some ranch dressing. It's all about moderation, right? And it wouldn't be a well balanced meal if I didn't have an audience. All right, camp is all set up. It is hot. I had to take the sweatshirt off, so I'm gonna get the dogs some more water, and I think I'm gonna hydrate and, I don't know, enjoy the day. The dogs and I took an afternoon stroll around camp and then came back and relaxed and made a nice dinner. It was a little bit chilly that evening, but the sunset was beautiful and it was a wonderful close to another day. I'd like to say a quick thank you to all my patrons and everyone who has supported the channel in any way, shape, or form. Your support helps me continue to make these videos and I am very appreciative of all of you who watch, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.